Yankees cut minor league player for stealing from teammates and scamming fans. First of all, <laughs> how, how are you scamming fans? What are you doing? And why are you stealing? Why are you stealing from your teammates? What is wrong with him? Well, hey crazy. man, the minor leaguers uh, like actually like Dan Trossi said this week, right? It's like they, we ain't getting paid enough. You gotta start. We gotta start lifting stuff. Yeah, but baseball, uh, um, you kind of the highest pay. Well, well, minor league, minor well, league. Well, 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 maybe if you're a top dog. I mean, I take that back. Yeah, I'm assuming they. He's probably not their top player. Um, I, you know, and we're not trying to kick this guy while he's down. I hope he gets help and stuff. But I was just thinking, like. How long? I wonder how long this was going on, man. And, and like, imagine showing up to games and some dudes running scams, like a player's running scams, like you know what I mean? Because you kind of like, oh, this must be, must be legit. This guy's plays for the Yankees. He's a you know part of this organization. Like, must be legit. And then well, my question is, how? Scam. How are you doing this? Are you doing it like during the game, after the game, in between games? Like, how? How? How are you scamming the fans? That's what I want to know. I would I would really like to know. Like I would like to talk to one of the fancy scam. Yeah, he sold me a hat for ten dollars. Why would you he was in a dugout? Why would you pay ten dollars for that hat? Like, oh, I thought you. I could get it for the low. Well <laughs> you Nico, got you ever you ever have someone on your team uh lifting your stuff for what, what, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like dude, it was weird. People He's just still like little stuff like knee pads, thigh pads, you know, for football. You need those things, you know. But that's that's pretty much it. I don't I don't think we ever scammed anybody or stole anything like a phone, watch, wallet, you know, things like that. But he he something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Hopefully he figures it. He well not don't figure it out, but hopefully you just stop. Just stop. Stop. It it kind of sounds like a um, it kind of sounds like it was a it was kind of a two part thing. It was one thing. It was like a two part thing. So he was he was taking stuff from players and then selling that stuff online to fans as if like you know, hey, I got a uh, Jock Peterson's jock strap, <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what he's stealing, but I'm just saying like you know. And then he and then he would sell them like you know whatever. Just and then he was scamming people with with stuff. But um, but I'm just saying like how how crazy is that? Like imagine you go to the game and then like there's this guy selling stuff or whatever. You the player you bought stuff from him, and then turns out like you know oh it was fake or or he just whatever. Well, you just, don't receive your stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's what was happening is yeah, people weren't getting their stuff and whatever. It's just it's it's crazy, man. Um I mean, my only take on this is the fact that he had to do all this. I mean, I get that maybe, you know, you had maybe some work getting paid or something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you just pretty much risked all this to now not pretty much have a job in the and you know, in baseball now, possibly, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's a bummer, man. Uh, I, I just said like, bro, you just stupid. I, I don't know. I just exactly it's, it's stupid and it's just like bro, like you just you probably selling your teammate stuff for you know maybe a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks, whatever how much he was ever selling it. I got one, I got one for you. It has nothing to do with sports, but I got one for you. <laughs> we had a friend, we had a friend come over, stay with us, and he stayed in my brother's bedroom. He had like a bunk bed or whatever, he stayed in there. And this is gonna tell you where we're from, but my brother, a lot of my family hunts heavily. To the point where like they go all in and so uh my brother he he stole a bunch of cash from my brother and he also stole some cologne or so he thought it was a bottle of dough urine uh for that you spray on stuff to attract bucks or whatever and that's how we knew he took it because uh he smelled like piss <laughs> he loaded himself up too he tried he thought he was gonna smell pretty I think I, well, that's all I'm wondering too is at what point he's like, now I stink, I got to keep spraying. Oh, and eventually it's going to make me smell not, better. <laughs> like, this piss when it first came out the bottle though, like, that's, yeah, oh, it's that's piss. weird. It's it might piss. be one of them low key scents. Like, you smell it, but you'd be like, oh, that's somebody else. And then you just keep going, like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, but, but that's not I mean, right away. Everyone knew, like, we were looking, my brother's like, man, I'm missing a bunch of cash from my dresser. 
And, uh, you know, it was back when people used to hoard cash back in the, you know, the early 2000, you know, but, you know, but, uh, yeah, he's believe like, make accounts, just believe yeah. put it under the yeah. mattress. And, uh, he was, it, it, we were instantly like, I think I know who stole your stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, but, I, say, I ain't got no crazy story like that. I was about to say, like, not no sports. I'm about to say, well, somebody's stealing something out of my locker room. But I mean, I, if it was to happen, though, I mean, I felt like, of course, we would have to, you know, you know, settle it right then and there in the locker room for sure. But I mean, I, yeah, I don't think I have a, well, I think I do have a story, but it's not sports related, but it was just, like I said, kind of like towards like with John, I mean, had somebody stand with you, but he didn't take the, um, didn't take cash or anything. Like it was just, it took my draws. Like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it be if you sell your drawers on eBay. <laughs> I, was, I was mad as fuck, bro. Like, it, it hey, man, I got to buy them back. I got my name on them. Yeah, what well, with the uh, yeah, these. So, and like, the only reason I know is because like the, the the certain ones that I get though, because like I only had get, I, no seriously though, like I only get either jeans or I get polo, like real talk. Like, 